Many seniors will require long-term care. Unfortunately, <coughs> nursing homes, assisted livings, and other care options are expensive. The U.S. Department of Labor views long-term care expenses as the greatest uninsured risk that Americans face today. My protective law partner, Mike Solomon, is here to discuss ways to plan to protect your assets. Okay. So right. we discussed three ways our viewers can protect their own financial assets by using other methods by <coughs> which to pay for these long-term care costs. So the first is long-term care insurance. What's that? Okay, well, long-term care insurance, it's a, it's a policy, an insurance policy that pays the cost, some of the cost, if you're in a, a long-term care facility or maybe a, a, you know assisted living. Most policies, when you buy them, they'll pay a certain amount per day, maybe $150 a day. Uh, but you, what you can do, the trouble is you know, to, if you don't have insurance and you have to apply for Medicaid, if you're a single person, you can only have $1,500. So if you buy a long-term care policy, if you get a special one, it's called a partnership long-term care insurance policy. It's a partnership between the state and, and the insurance company. Let's say you buy a $300,000 insurance policy. It shelters $300,000 of your assets. So even though you have to spend down to $1,500, this policy says you can keep $300. It still pays your expenses $300,000 worth, and then you could qualify for Medicaid. So it's a real good option for some people. All right, sounds good. The second way is veterans benefits. Now, we've talked about this on the mm -hmm. show recently. And you know, there's the VA program that's aid and, and uh, attendance. And what you can get if you're a veteran or a spouse of a veteran you can get a monthly check to help offset some of the cost for uh, you know, assisted living or uh, you know, long-term care. Now, to, to qualify for that, you have to be a veteran, 90 days in the service, plus at least one of those days you had to, it had to be during a wartime. Uh, you had to have, be honorably discharged, age 65. And they have also have some uh, income limits and, and asset limits. It's a program that many people aren't aware of. And as we mentioned last time on the show, right. they may ch be changing the rules, so you, Not you may want to get in under the wire. And the third way, quickly, is Medicaid. Yeah, well, Medicaid, again, we've talked about a lot. As you know, that's a government insurance program. It covers all the costs, uh, basically all the costs of long-term care and certain other costs. If you're single, you can only keep $1,500. Married couple can keep a little over $23,000, up to $119,000, plus a home, plus a car. The point is you need to do planning. You need to know how to handle it. There's that five-year look-back rule, which is very complicated. But the important thing to note, even after someone is in a facility, even if they haven't done any planning, they can still do some planning to save some of the money. And that's good to know. Yes. Taking advantage of one or more of these options does require planning, and the sooner the better. However, you do need to consult a certified elder law attorney for help. A mistake can be really costly. For more information, check out this month's issue of Aging Answers, a supplement to the Northeast Ohio Parent Magazine, or call Mike. His number's next. Call Solomon Steiner and Peck at 1-888-236-5173 for more information or to schedule a speaker for your organization. Or log on to www.ssnplaw.com. Thanks for joining us. Be sure and join us next week. But until then, please be sure to make the most of your golden opportunities. If you'd like to join our kitchen conversation, visit our website, www.goldenopportunities.tv. Like us on Facebook. Call us at 440-742-GO-TV or email us at kitchen at goldenopportunities.tv. We'd love... Golden Opportunities is paid for by Elder Productions.